Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another very exciting video. We have a pretty interesting video today. We have the new CS20 case now added to CSGO, and uh, I'm pretty surprised to be honest. I thought this was going to happen on Tuesday of next week, because, uh, you know, obviously they did release the tweet about the new 1.6 knife just yesterday, so it's a little surprising that they would have just done it right away. But uh, nonetheless, we have the case, and we also have a new bit of investments to make. So, let's look at all the investments and let's talk about which ones are the best and then we'll finish off the video with the opening of a few cs20 capsules and a couple cases because obviously i didn't go all in on these uh although i do think they're cool you know i i, I didn't go all in and uh i mean let's see what happens maybe i got a knife who knows so starting off with the coverts we have the ob wildfire and the famas commemoration so I think both of these skins are okay. I mean, the Op Wildfire actually looks a lot better than I thought it did when I started to inspect it. When I saw it in the original picture, it just looked okay. But uh, when I actually looked at it, fully inspected it in game, it looked really, really good. So I think the Op Wildfire is going to be an amazing skin to have, but obviously it's very expensive. So it's not really something you should chase as an investment. It's more of something that you could maybe trade for in the future. It's kind of one of those skins that if you obtain it at some point, then that's really good. Um, but if you you know don't obtain it then you know it's whatever because it's very expensive in the first place so it's going to be hard to get like a return on investment there um it's obviously not great to go for like right at the current moment just because of how expensive it is but um it does look very good and uh, that being said it's going to have a lot of demand and then we have the famas commemoration this skin i think looks really good but it's a famas and not a lot of people use the famas and uh i mean it, although it's cool and it's gold and stuff it's not really that great of an investment. I think it'll be one of those items that kind of screws people over for 50-50 for trade-ups. So, I don't know. I would say maybe not go for the FAMAS. Next up, we have the MP9 Hydra, the AUG Death by Puppy, and the P90 Nostalgia for the restricted skins in this case. And uh, I think the MP9 Hydra, while it does look cool, it is an MP9. And uh, while it is seeing a little bit more of pro play, I don't think it's that great of a chase skin for an investment. If you do happen to obtain one of these at some point in time, then it does look very good. It's a good play skin and uh, it's, you know, it, it'll be a fairly strong investment just because of like how good it looks. But uh, I don't think it's something that you should really like try to invest in specifically. Next we have the Og Death by Puppy. This skin actually looks a lot better than I thought it did, kind of like the Wildfire as well. This skin actually looks really, really good in game with all like the pink highlights and stuff like that. If you can get one of these in a good wear, I think it'll be a very, very strong investment and a very nice play skin at that as well. Next we have the P90 Nostalgia. Well, I do think this skin is cool. I don't think it's gonna actually be that great in terms of an investment. It uh, it, it's it's good. It, you know, it has a cool like meaning behind it and stuff like that. But the color is just don't look all that great and uh, aside from obviously the nostalgia factor I don't think it'll have a very strong factor as an investment so maybe don't go for it. Next we have the M249 Aztec. I think this skin is amazing. Maybe not a great investment because nobody uses the M249 but I do think it looks amazing in terms of like just raw looks. It's normal mapped of course so it has a very good 3D feel to it and it has a really cool like mossy texture as well so I think overall just a really good skin, really good looking. If you don't get this as an investment, then at least get it as a play skin. It's definitely the best looking M249 in the game uh, for that weapon, of course. Next for the restricted, we have the 5.7 Buddy, the UMP Plastic, the MP5 Agent, and the P250 Inferno. So I think the Agent is an absolute no-go. It's an MP5. No one uses the MP5 really except in silver. And uh, honestly, it's a very boring skin. Doesn't look that good at all. The plastic actually looks really nice. And I do think this is going to be a strong investment as well. I would say go for a plastic as an investment if you can. It should be pretty cheap. And uh, the UMP is used a decent amount. So it should be good overall. The P250 Inferno looks absolutely incredible. I am a huge, huge fan of this skin, and I think a lot of people are as well. It's a really, really cool like throwback to the uh, to the Inferno map, and the vine on it just looks really, really good. Overall, super awesome looking skin, and definitely a very great investment if you can get one. The 5.7 Buddy, probably a no-go. I would say this one, it's just not you know out there enough to, to be very strong in terms of an investment. Like It's not as good as the 5.7 Case Hardened, and that's pretty much what you need to top um, in terms of like what skins look good. Next, we have the Dual Berettas Elite 1.6, the Scar 20 Assault, the Famas Decommissioned, the Glock 18 Sacrifice, the Mag 7 Pop Dog, the Mac 10 Classic Crate, and the Tech 9 Flashout for our Blues, 
first of all, just automatically, the Elite 1.6 is a no-go, the Assault is a no-go, um, the Flash Out is a no-go, and uh, the Classic Crate is, eh, I'd say also probably a no-go. The Pop Dog, the Sacrifice, and the Decommissioned, though, they all look very, very good, and they all are very uh, good throwbacks to old CS, and um, of course the Glock Sacrifice references the Olaf defuse where he was in the Molotov, and man, this skin looks good. The Glock 18 Sacrifice is just so, so good looking, and uh, it's honestly a really great play skin to pick up if you do want one, and uh, probably pretty good as an investment as well, maybe like a Stat Track Factory new one, just hold on to that for a while, see what happens. I think it's pretty good. The Famos Decommissioned, I think, looks also really coherent and really good overall as a skin. And, of course, it does reference old CS, and that's also a very huge positive. So that's a very good skin as well. The Classic Crate, again, is okay, um, but I'm kind of, like, halfway on this one. And then for the Pop Dog, I think, I don't know. I don't know if I would say the Mag 7 is a good investment, but if the Pop Dog was on maybe a different gun, then it would be good. But the Mag 7 Pop Dog is, eh, it's okay. Next, we have the Classic Knives. Um, obviously, these are just going to be knife prices. They're going to be expensive to begin with. Uh, if you can pick one of these up for a cheap price, then definitely go for it because they have a good animation and they look pretty decent. Uh, obviously, the huge nostalgia factor. People are really, really hyped to have the 1.6 knife in this game. So it does have a huge amount of hype factor. Um, the fade looks definitely overall. I got to say the fade looks the best. Um, the slaughter looks really good as well. The crimson web looks good as well. But of course, the default 1.6 is the classic one. That's the one that's going to fetch the highest prices um, in terms of like an overall median. So I would say probably the 1.6 knife would be a very strong option with the Fade, Crimson Web, uh, Case Hardened, and Slaughter being also really good options. As for the other ones, they're fairly going to just be cheap knives and they're not going to be all that great. But they're going to be good if you want one because obviously, you know, you can pick one up for a decent price, get the knife with the animations and stuff like that, and, you know, have the knife. So that's what I think about this case in, in terms of its, of its investments. If you guys want to watch me unbox a couple of these crates and also a lot of the capsules, then just keep watching the video and we'll get straight into that. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and let's get into the unboxing. Well boys, here we are. We have some CS20 cases and some CS20 sticker capsules. We're going to open all of these. So uh, obviously I'm not going to get anything out of these, but it's new and it's fun to open. Obviously I only have two. Um, I haven't actually been able to inspect this thing in full detail. Okay, this thing actually looks really sick. This thing looks really good. This thing looks really good. I was not able to look at this in full detail, but holy crap, dude, this looks nice. Looks a lot better than I thought it did. This one I'm curious about, too. Okay, it's like golden. This would look really good with uh, the new Dragon Lore stickers. Uh, what about this one? The P90 Nostalgia, and it's just a guy spray painting stuff. Now, of course, we have this classic knife as well, which is cool. This would kind of suck. This, this thing looks horrible. I'm not going to lie. I don't like it. Uh, what's this look like? Well, this one's pretty cool, I guess. The camo's kind of weird, but this thing's pretty ugly. <laughs> uh, let's see. The Moss Decommissioned. Oh, this is actually cool. It's like throwback to the source. Or 1.6. This one's really cool. This one looks really nice. If I could get like a like a factory new stat trek one of these, man, that looks so good. This one eh, actually looks pretty good. I didn't I didn't realize how like pink it was, but the pink actually looks really nice on it. MP9 Hydra. This one's pretty cool. It kind of looks like it should be a blue or sort of purple or something, but whatever, pink sure whatever. Uh, this one I thought uh, I thought was like. Uh, like like I thought it didn't I think it was, I thought it was normal mapped where it didn't have like anything here I don't know this one's still pretty cool for a purple it'd be an okay purple this I really want this one honestly like if I got this I'd be really happy I love this skin <laughs> I don't know this one just looks really good to me and then the m249 of course I actually called this I think it looks really good but I called this I 100% called this I knew this one was gonna be in there it's normal mapped and everything looks really good so let's hope for the op wildfire, but uh, I do want the classic knife, of course. Getting a classic knife would be so, so cool. All right, a pink flies by, of course. We're, we're going to get a blue, though, obviously. Yep. Ah, oh, man. Could have been... What is this? Uh, battle Scar. That's... Battle Scar blue. That's a great way to start it off. All right, let's see what we get here. Still never opened a knife before, so that'd be really awesome. No. <laughs> Max 7 Pop Dog. Okay, 
Thanks. Thanks, game. All right, now for this, we're hoping for the... Uh... Oh, this actually looks pretty good. We're hoping for the Dragonlore foil, of course, which I think looks super sick. I was super hyped when I first saw this um, being thrown out as a possibility. I think it looks really good. CS20 Classic. Oh, this is a good sticker. That's a really good sticker. Guinea Pig Hollow. All right. I guess let's hope for the Dragonlore foil. Oh, why couldn't you give me one of the... Why? Why not the hollows? Why not the hollows? Ah, oh, foil passed by. Another hollow, dude. Come on. What is that one? That one looks good. We got baited. Oh, this one's so good. What the heck, dude? At least the dragon lord uh, foil didn't pass by. Alright, sticker nuke beat. These all look these don't look that good, I'm not gonna lie. We're getting pretty shafted on these. But eh, it's still fun to open, right? Alright, we got a bunch of blues. <laughs> we got the surfs up uh sticker. Cool. That's that's great. I'm gonna buy five more. So I'll see you then. Okay, so we actually bought four more, but Eh, let's hope for a dragon lore foil, I guess. I would make this, uh... Oh, we actually got a foil. All hail the king. We actually got a foil. Uh, was well, not the dragon lore foil, but hey. Maybe we'll get five bucks back on that, I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. Dragon lore foil would be nice. It'd be really nice. <laughs> looks so bad. <laughs> actually so bad come on oh really dude really all right we have five more cs20 capsules it's helpful with the dragon lore which we will probably never get but it'd be cool all right separate pixels nice 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 come on come on please give me the dragon lore too old for this I am not too old for this. I need the <laughs> two foils passed by. Can you give me the Dragon Lore foil then? Oh yes! You actually got the really sick hollow. I'm actually really happy about that. This looks really good. What does it sell for? 95 cents for this? Dude. I'm gonna do a four times craft. That one looks great. That one looks really great. Okay. Aztec sticker. Okay, foil passed by again, faded once again. No. <laughs> That's my two hollows and give me this crap. Thank you very much. Very nice of you. One more chance for the dragon lore. And that will conclude this very sad opening. Why do I get faded by so many of these hollows? Why? Why do you gotta do it to me? Okay, let's uh This would look really good on my lightning strike. Oh, it looks so good on my lightning strike, dude. It looks so good on my lightning strike, holy crap. Oh my god, it looks so nice on a lightning strike. That looks so good. Okay, let's put these Nuke Beast ones on my factory new P90 Grim. Yeah, sure, right there. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for sticking around and helping me on my way to 700 subscribers. If you want to go join the Discord, there is a link below. Also, I do have a Twitter you can follow, and I do post regular updates on that about my channel and about CSGO. And if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave me a like and consider subscribing to my channel because I did work pretty hard on getting all of this footage and uh, making this video possible for you guys. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace.